Oh, yes. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're taking a look at Transformers Cyberverse Deluxe Class Bumblebee. As you all know, Bumblebee is my favorite character ever, and he can do no wrong, and he is just amazing, and I love having so many Bumblebee toys, and I don't feel dead inside every time a new one comes out. Oh, what? Where was I? Um, so this is a new, more articulated Bumblebee. Does a better job of actually nailing the transformation without having to cheat things. Though I can tell you right now, his uh, taillight kneecaps are totally cheated. So I guess they had to make some concessions somewhere. And like the rest of his wave, he is part of a, a builder figure wave. So he comes with the lower torso of the character McAdam, which is very cool. You get to finally have, you know, this mysterious ancient character in your collection. So if you're familiar with my reviews, you know how this goes. We're gonna take a look at Bumblebee's packaging. We'll see his instructions real quick. Then we'll open him up, see him in his vehicle and robot modes. I'll be doing some comparisons and stuff with other Bumblebee toys. And then at the end, I'll give my final thoughts. So the packaging, it's kind of an interesting mix between the standard Cyberverse stuff and the Generations type uh, packaging. You know, it comes in a nice self-contained box with a window there. You can see Bumblebee is very hard to miss in his eye searing yellow. Uh, he does come with a little stinger weapon here, which is pretty neat. And that just attaches to his arms. Again, the uh, torso piece. And he's got something here. It looks like a blaster of some sort. There's the render of McAdam. Yeah, see, there's that little blaster. Uh, so these are the renders of Bumblebee. Transforms from car to robot in 19 steps, so not bad. His function is Courageous Scout, which, fair enough. You got your diagram of McAdam here, and then you have pictures of uh, the rest of the wave, or at least, you know, artwork of him. And then on the side, you just have your standard good guy group shot. Here we have Bumblebee's instruction sheet. Let's see this little render on the front here. Unfold it. This is his transformation from robot to vehicle. And they actually show some storage here for his weapons. You can peg him onto his back there if you want to. This side just continues the transformation. Shows you uh, how to get him in his car mode. Right here shows how to attach the, the fire blast to his little stinger. Like this, so, how to have him hold the stinger. How to put it on the car. Now what this doesn't show you is where to store his little handgun in vehicle mode, but I'll show you that here in a moment. And then he comes with the lower torso of McAdam, which we have right here. So you can see it's mostly yellow, which is fitting because it comes with Bumblebee. Uh, just a solid piece. It does have that little hookup for the figure stands, so that seems to just be a universal thing for all Transformers toys now, which I'm not complaining about. And then he's got this cool like metal plating on his abs, which is painted. So it's a simple piece, but it'll work well with the upper torso. Okay, here's our look at Bumblebee's vehicle mode. And, you know, pretty, uh, pretty much the standard design for him. Doesn't look too radically different from anything that's come before. And uh, fairly small, you know, it's supposed to be a deluxe toy and he's got a very itty bitty vehicle mode. And see so he's got a stinger weapon mounted on the side here. You can of course remove that if you'd like. And you see these slots where it plugs in. And the vehicle itself rolls moderately well on a very smooth surface like this. Uh, don't really see any drag. Oh yeah, and here's something that the uh, instructions don't show you, but that's where you store his gun. Right there, you just plug it in. You can do it either side too. Plugs into these little tabs there. So that's how that works. And overall, you know, fairly competent. Has a nice amount of paint on it. Though again, a little on the small side. And here he is alongside his Warrior class and All Spark Armor counterparts. And you can see their vehicle modes are quite different from one another. You know, as far as the detailing, the actual shape of the vehicle. Uh, these two are much closer in shape, though this guy is missing a lot of painted detail. He doesn't have any of the stripes or anything. This guy has the stripes, but they're laid out differently. He's got a whole different front section. And then he's got this big old spoiler on the back. So they're very unique, you know, compared to one another. 
But as far as quality, you can't really tell the difference too much in the vehicle modes. You know, they're cars and they roll. I will say that surprisingly his warrior class toy is quite a bit bigger than he is. So there is that. All right, now it's time to transform Bumblebee. If you haven't already, go ahead and remove all of his weapons. Set those to the side. And the first thing we're gonna do is open the car doors, which is pretty much a step of every Bumblebee transformation since like the 2007 movie at this point. So, and partly open, you swing this section up and out of the way, like so. We're gonna come here and open up these leg panels. And flip the feet down, separate. Now he's got feet in here that need to come out. And they're kind of a pain to get out. Especially the left one there, at least on my copy. All right, we got it out there. Oh, there we go. All right, let's get the feet out. Close the shin panels back up. All right. Now what we need to do, rotate them out the waist, 180 degrees. I'll flip this chest down. Now I know I said at the beginning of the video that he doesn't use a faux chest. I was wrong. He does. So that's unfortunate. That actually puts him a little bit of a step behind the warrior class because the warrior class actually does use the uh, top of the car for his chest. It's like one of the few things it does right. All right, so it's about as far down as his arms go. This back section, flip the head all the way out, pull this in twice, close it back up, make sure it pegs in, and then just bring the car hood sections down here for shoulders. And there we go. This is Bumblebee's robot mode. Very heroic looking, very spry. He's got uh, quite a nice amount of articulation. Head is on a ball joint, so that's good. It has the uh, ball jointed shoulders, has ball jointed elbows, and then he does have a wrist swivel. A little tight, but it's there. He has waist swivel, which is nice. Ball jointed hips, single bend knees, and his feet do have ankle tilt. So. You can make some nice dynamic poses with them. And, you know, this is the kind of toy we've been looking for, you know, from Cyberverse. This is what we expected when we heard, you know, they're going to have Warrior Class. Because this is a lot closer to the Warrior Class of, you know, Robots in the Skies, the 2015 one, than, you know, what we actually ended up getting. So, you know, it's been a long time coming. And, unfortunately, you are paying... Siege Deluxe prices for what is essentially an R.I.D. Warrior class, but, you know, what can you do? Guess not buy it if you're not satisfied, right? So, now we got him here. You can go ahead and attach his weapons. And this one just plagues on, plagues, eh, pegs onto his fist here. Really either one, but let's put it here. So you got his little stinger weapon. You can choose to add the effect part on or off. Then you get his little handgun here. So what good's a scout without his trusty pistol, right? And yeah, he just looks really good. Very dynamic. I wish they would have given his face a little more expression. Very neutral face, but other than that, he works really well. And I'm quite happy with him. All right, so here are the other two bumblebees again. You got the warrior class, the all-spark armor bumblebee. And they're really just as different in these modes as they are in their vehicle modes. Even though they take the same basic design cues, they're executed much differently between them. Uh, one of the biggest design differences you'll see is that this one has the rear windshields on his uh, shins there on the front. These guys don't, and it's actually more accurate to the character model. 
And then the one thing that's unique about this Bumblebee is that he finally properly gets his little, you know, back wing things, the door wings. He kind of, sort of gets them, the warrior class. They're just kind of hanging off the backs of, the backs of his arms. Um, this guy doesn't get them at all. Now, as far as quality of figure, this little one's actually not very bad. You know, he's quite poseable, especially for a Cyberverse toy, and he does come with the bonus armor, so that's nice. Um, but again, he's just leagues behind the new Deluxe class. And then this one is just garbage. This is one of my least favorite Cyberverse figures, the uh, Warrior Bumblebee. He's just, he's really bad. He's wonky looking. He's very, barely poseable. And he's got this issue with his little deployable arm thing that just never wants to stay down. So it's just always drawn like that. So yeah, I mean, the new Deluxe class is an unequivocal improvement over the other two. One last thing I'm gonna show you with this toy before we wrap this up is he does have weapon storage. So let's go ahead and remove these. Okay, there goes the effect part. With a fire blast. Okay, I do want to point out that even though this bumblebee is molded to accommodate fire blast effects, specifically right here on his chest, his particular one, you know, it's not a, a standard fire blast and doesn't really have a way to connect to anything but the tip of a stinger weapon. So that's unfortunate. And then I guess this has, you know, some connection points here too. Anyway, you want to attach these, plug the gun into one of his wings there, like so. And then for the stinger weapon, you actually utilize one of these little connection points and plug it into his uh, display stand booty hole. I don't know what else to call it. And yeah, that's how he stores them. Now, obviously, it doesn't look very practical with the stinger just kind of being out there like that. You know, the handgun gets hidden much more convincingly. But it is a thing. It's an option you have if you want to take it. And now, with all these things said, I think it's time to wrap this review up. Um, best Cyberverse Bumblebee toy, hands down. It's the one we should have gotten from the beginning, but Hasbro went one way with it. Collectors wanted something else. Took a while, but they finally listened, and I'm happy this guy exists. He's very poseable. He's really cool looking. He's got great accessories. Uh, definitely one of my faves of the new deluxe class. And if you have the 20 bucks and you want a good version of this character, you like the Cyberverse aesthetic, go for it. I think he's worth it. A lot of fun. Plus, you know, if you want to make McAdam, you kind of have to. Uh, but again, that's just my opinion. Perhaps you feel differently. I would love to know what you think in the comments section. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to toss it a like. If you want to see more like it or any of my other videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you always get a heads up when I post something new. I thank you for joining me for this look at the best Cyberverse Bumblebee ever. And with all that said, I will see you next time.